Arrhythmias are the collective term for all sorts of disorders in which the normal rhythm of the heart is disturbed. Normally, the heart beats about 60 to 70 times a minute. When exercising, this may increase to 120 to 180 times a minute. The heart always contracts in an orderly way. The impulse that signals the heart to contract is given in the sinus node. First, the upper chambers contract. Then, with a slight delay, the impulse travels to the lower chambers, after which they contract. On several points during this process, something can go wrong, causing the heart to not contract correctly. If the sinus node sends out too many or too little impulses, the heart beats too fast or too slow. A heart rate that is too fast is called a tachycardia. A heart rate that is too slow is called a bradycardia. In case of the sick sinus syndrome, the sinus node alternates in working too fast and too slow. Heart block occurs if the impulses are not passed on correctly to the lower chambers of the heart. This causes a disruption of the balance between the contraction of the upper chambers and lower chambers. It can also happen that the heart muscle cells of the upper chambers or lower chambers completely ignore the sinus node. They spontaneously contract in a chaotic manner. This is called fibrillation. During fibrillation of the lower chambers, the circulation comes to a halt. No more blood is pumped through the body. This is a life-threatening situation. Some people may suffer from arrhythmias, but don't have any complaints. The complaints that an arrhythmia causes depend on the type of arrhythmia you have. Some symptoms that often occur are palpitations, chest discomfort, dyspnea, shortness of breath, feelings of anxiety, and dizziness. Treatment of arrhythmias depends on the type and cause of the arrhythmia. Arrhythmias in the upper chambers are less dangerous than arrhythmias that originate from the lower chambers. Arrhythmias from the lower chambers can cause the circulation to come to a halt and require immediate medical assistance. An electrical shock is needed to get the heart back into action. Usually, arrhythmias can be effectively treated with medication. In case of fibrillation of the upper chambers, blood thinners are often prescribed to prevent blood clots to form in the upper chambers. These blood clots can cause a heart attack or stroke. If medication doesn't help sufficiently, it is sometimes necessary to implant a pacemaker or an implantable cardioverter defibrillator (ICD). A pacemaker regulates the rhythm of the heart if it's too slow. An ICD can deliver a shock when the heart starts to fibrillate.